ladies and gentlemen, today on uh, Glutie's Outdoor Channel, I'm doing a review, doing two reviews in one video. Today we're going to be, um, I'm going to be talking about bite alarms, which I know there's a uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos, but basically all it is just some, most of my scene, it's just somebody playing with them and saying, okay, this is how, you know, it really don't go in much detail. They just, okay, here you put a piece of string on and then ta-da, you're done. So today what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be discussing with you is the ins and outs of them, how they actually properly work without having to put it on the um, pole and everything else. So as you can see, I mean it's a simple construction and that little silver piece you see right there is actually what triggers the alarm. Um, it comes with three little tiny batteries that were actually already put in for me when I ordered it off of eBay they um like I said the guy on eBay got it to me very quickly at which I was extremely impressed he was from New Jersey um what else uh this right here the clip thingy this is actually what goes on your pole and um let's see how, it wor how well it works so basically with this all you really do is that you take this part right here and you clip it on your pole. Okay? That's all you gotta do. You gotta just clip it on your pole by your reel. And you run your line through right like right up in here. Right in this little area right there. And um you run your line in and then you turn it on. It's got this little switch right here is what turns it on and turns it off. Okay, so Right now, as you can see, it's off. It's not going to make no noises. And then you just basically you push up once. Okay. Still don't do nothing. It's got a two stage click to it. And then on the second click, it's what activates it. Now, what happens with these is when you get a, a bite, you, um, this, this little silver piece right here right there it pulls upward so say this is my rod and I got a bite what's going to happen is that this is going to pull up and then it goes like that yes it's extremely loud so that's let you know that hey you know what you got a bite check your line whatever the case may be so the only thing I noticed with these is that once you have a bite and say you set your hook and you're fighting your fish, I know, I mean, come on, really, you ain't got much time to go back down to the first click, oop, shoot, back down to the first click and shut it off because you're too busy fighting your fish. So unless you're talented like uh, me and most other fishermen, you're going to be able to... Um, you know put it back to the first click and then or you want you can just push all the way down and shut it off so that's basically how these work I can do another I can sit there and show you more when I'm actually out fishing with these hopefully I'll be out fishing this weekend it's supposed to be nice here in Illinois man I hope so so but anyways you just basically, like I said, it's a simple concept. You know, you clip it, you run your line through right here, and then you turn it on when you drop your bait, and then that's all you really got to do. I don't take much force to um, pull these up, this little silver piece right here. It don't take much force to pull it up, by all means. It's, um, I think it actually takes about what? about maybe a pound and a half of pressure to pull it up so that's basically it for this review on the bite alarms now these clips well actually no it ain't but these clips right here are um a simple concept of construction all it is really is a little phillips screwdriver or phillips screw right here that's easy to tighten down and like I pulled this one out this is brand new I just pulled it out of the package it was a little loose took a screwdriver tightened it down it's good as brand new alright 
So in the clips right here, they have what is a it feels like a felt pad on both sides, up and bottom, up and down and bottom, and it protects your rods from getting damaged by the um, by the clip in itself. So. I mean it's got like a spring like a just like a regular clip would um easy concept there you can move them around as much as you like to find that certain spot you want and that's it so that's it for this review now what we have here is the it's supposed to be the world's smallest fishing pole okay I don't see how it's the world's smallest fishing pole because guess what? I own literally a world, the smallest fish, fishing pole smaller than this. And no, it's not for my it's not my children's either. It's mine, my personal pole. So with this pole, it measures about I want to say about three and a half feet in length when fully extended. It's telescopic and the con the construction of this pole is pretty cool and everything is you know you just basically you pull it up and then it's got this little screw thing right here and all you got to really do is just screw it all the way up okay That's all you got to do so once you screw this up you um you bring this part right up here all the way up to the best you can or as high as you want it now if you have a smaller reel and you prefer to use a smaller reel then you just gotta set the dimensions for how tall you want it and then you just basically like any other pole no nothing new nothing different and you put it down and then you take this because you already put it all the way up and then you just tighten it down you ain't gotta get it like super tight or nothing else like that and I mean like I said the construction of this pole is really simple it's about three and a half feet in diameter in length when fully extended and this is what your pole looks like now this one I bought off of eBay as well and it came from China and I don't know how well you can see this but it has a 5.1.1 gear ratio okay I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not let me try closing that lip there you go and um <clears throat> The line capacity, which is in millimeters, because like I said, it came from China. Um, it's 0.17 by one. Basically, it's um, I think the max weight you can put on this is probably about eight pounds, and that's probably pushing it. But if um, it goes, you know, you got like your 130 yard, your 110 yard, and you got your 90 yard. So. With that being said, I have not had the luxury of using this pole yet on the water. I'm wanting to, but I've seen the reviews for them. I mean, I've watched some of the videos, and some of the videos that people have, you know, they're just being, well, I, how would I say it, um, not wise with them, and they're just beating the crap on because they, well, come on, they came from China, and they're cheap as hell to start with. And, um, but yeah, I mean, the, the, what is it, the, um, the way the pole's made, it's fine. I've had telescopic poles before. It's really no big deal. And, but the construction of the pole is pretty good. I like the construction of it. I like the way it feels. And the cap itself can actually be, if you put it in, like so, you can actually use it and it can be, an extension for your handle I mean it give you a little more level leverage and everything else the um, the top part itself is made out of aluminum so it's not the strongest in the world but it's not gonna sit there and just break on you on the first go around either unless you magically land like a 200 pound catfish and then I really don't see the pool surviving that at all unless you're like you know what you're doing so and I've been fishing for 28 years um the design of the pole is a basic concept like I said basically if you want to put it away you just basically take your telescopic rod 
you push it all the way down like so and you unscrew the, this part right here you go like that pop that piece up and it comes out like a regular pole would and then you, you gotta hold it up because it's a nuisance occasionally to get it done or get it down well that and I'm just lazy I am your everyday fisherman and you just put your cap on it and if you you're wanting to go fishing this is actually one of the best things to take with you because it looks like an oversized pen to be honest and the reel you can just fit that right in your pocket I have a tackle set up for this it's um, a little box that you would uh, if you went to Walmart and you bought flies you know like a fly kit or whatever Mm. excuse me if you bought like a little fly kit or something a little box that came in is about this big you can put weights in it you can put um, little hooks in it you can you know like a couple bobbers or maybe you want to throw a crankbait in there or a spinner or whatever you know just something like a beetle spin something that's small and that's compact that you can put in there then yeah most definitely if you can throw you can put your reel in your pocket you can put this in you know like a shirt pocket or whatever or inside your shirt and just and it looks like a pen seriously I mean it looks like one of them pens that we had when we was kids growing up for all of us older crowds and um basically it's not going to be not as noticeable now when you start taking your reel and stuff out yeah that's a little noticeable but this just right here in itself even this was just to be seen by the warden all it does is look like a big pen so it's a great camouflage if you fish illegally which I know a lot of people do not to you can't hide it from me because I used to do it so but that review being said and done um, please like comment and subscribe um, to Gwitty's Outdoor Channel and if you need more advice on you got a question to ask on how to repair um, installation of something how to do even the simplest thing on like how to restring your uh, reels because there's some people that don't know how to do that um, please feel free to ask I mean I'm gonna give you the best advice I can give you personally myself to help you with whatever issue you may have um, I also, and that's about it. So, like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe down below, and have a great day, and a great morning.